we are in La Santa. Again this year for the men's elite single final. It is Henrik Muslim on the left versus Luke Griffiths on the right. Luke, Luke had to beat his older brother Leon uh, to get here. He needed 13 in the tennis and 13 5 after winning a squash to 15 I believe. Henrik had an extremely impressive victory versus Jörg from Germany, needing 18 in the tennis and uh, winning 18-20. So, quite the upset from Muslim in that round. To, uh, wanting to force Henrik to go play the winner or, the, uh, or make the mistake really. He knows that he doesn't need to. Yeah. Maybe he doesn't need to go for much, but that was the uh, really quick winner there. Yeah. And again, too strong forehands, too, too much for Mustard to, to retrieve. This will of course be followed by the going on tour, which we will try and record for a later year. No one's just referring to the holder. Good rally from them both. Must have kept it on the table while forcing Luke into a mistake. Really steady backhand from Must. I mean, you can you can tell he's a squash player almost with the, the control and the cautiousness with those backhands. Again, of course, move into another mistake. Trying to open up the backhand, but forehand even, but a uh, great shot from Luke. Five, seven. Eight all, another one forced out from Luke really. Eight four hundred again. Backhand from Mustin, it's so the retrieval is exceptional. None all. Keep it on the table. And again, I'm on the top spin now. And he's on top now in this rally. What a rally. What a rally. Well, unfortunate for Muslim that he, uh, he ended up losing it. He played really, really well there, but that last forehand was too far off the table. Some of the retrievals were excellent. There's that big forehand again from Luke. Oh. There we are, 11 10 at the change to Luke. And while they uh, pick up some, some pips. We will let you know that the winner of the women's elite was Pauline Carve. Of course, Luke and Leon won the mixed up, uh, sorry, the men's doubles last night against Henrik and Nico Lengenhager. And the mixed doubles was won by Matthew Davison and Holly Ranson of Great Britain against Luke Griffith and Holly Clayton, also of Great Britain. So it could be uh, Luke going for his third medal of the tournament. Second, second win against Muslin in the final as well, of course. These two have never played before, so it's going to be a very interesting matchup. I think, I think we can all expect and guess what will happen in the middle two sports, but it's going to be a really exciting game of, 
of tennis and table tennis to see who comes out on top. I would imagine the badminton and the squash will be similar. I think it's it's safe to say we expect Muskin to get more in the badminton than Luke will in the in the um, in the squash. But this is this is why Luke will be really in, really really keen to get a strong lead uh, into the table tennis. Maybe four or five points just to give himself that confidence after the squash. 14-10 now, he's won all three points in the second half. Ooh, great defence from Luke, but that one just shies the table. 11 14. Oh, lovely top spin back coming from Mustard. Fortunate from Luke there. Fifteen twelve. Another old horse tower from Luke. Thirteen fifteen now. Third place player. I'm looking around the room and I assume he's in action. There's uh, Leon No. You're, you're in the room, so I assume they're on squash or tennis by now. We'll get an update on the score there as soon as possible. Yes, 16 14 to Luke now. Nineteen fourteen. If he can win next two out of three or four points, I think I think he'll be quite happy. I've made a few errors, but I've done a few mistakes. Muskin so clever at keeping it on the table and and, and forcing Luke into a, into shots he sometimes doesn't want to play. Hence the hence the mistakes. We could argue that in some cases they have been forced, but. Overall, it's been an exciting game of table tennis to watch. Not conventional, but it's been entertaining as ever with Mustard. And speaking of which, twenty fifteen now. Oh, great retrieval from Luke, and that is that for the TT twenty one fifteen to Mr. Griffey. Onto what will be an exciting game of badminton. Two players warming up now. And I don't think it's I don't think it's too obvious that Luke wins this to low low single figures. I mean Mustard and He's a joy to watch, his, his retrieval of the ball in, in badminton and tennis especially. The way he, uh, you never watch him, make sure you, you, you keep your eyes peeled on this game. The way he lunges, um, like, like, like a squash player does, to retrieve the, some of the shots that he does on his backhand is exceptional. Doesn't ever, ever let his opponent win easily. He's a real gr really grinds down the games and the, and the, the match for his opponent, making life hard. And I think I think that's why he's here. That's why he's in the final after all. It like we said when uh, when he needed 18 against York um, in the semi-final. I think with York's tennis being as uh, as strong as as it is, I think we all assumed that Muston would be in the third fourth playoff instead of where he is now. But like I say, he does what he does extremely well in terms of grinding grinding players down. But it's uh, you know, it's not for a lack of um, technical ability in the other three sports, that's for sure. He does have, you know, we saw it in the table tennis where he first, first half of the mat, well, first half of the first half, the backhands were just uh, very slicey, very choppy, very get it back on the table, but then he does, he can whip out that top spin when he needs to. I'm sure we'll see it in this sport and tennis as well. 
Stays, uh, stays only in play at this level for not. So I think just uh, about two two years now, perhaps. Is uh, certainly one of the most improved in the men's game, that's for sure. So it'll be great to see how he how he fares against Luca. I think Luke will be happy with these kind of rallies, he knows what to expect. Having watched Muston play for the last few tournaments, so he knows he's going to get most shots back. He's going to he's going to put, put, put pressure on him every now and then as well. Luke just has to be patient, be smart. But he certainly is uh, a, a smart badminton player, so let's see how... Uh, Oh, his mental strength is against uh, this man for sure. Lovely little uh, counter drop rally there. Oh, well played. Indeed. Again. Oh. oh my gosh. That would have been exceptional for Luke to achieve that, and that lovely little flick from Mustin. Very clever, just pushing to the back of the court. Two all now. So, despite the fact that the first five points have been shared, I think we can see Mustin tiring. The game he plays um, is, is obviously a, a long one. A, it's a graph. And Luke does have those winners in him that we've just seen there, of course. As the game goes on, I expect we'll see more of him. Yeah, it's not a great serve there. He's really dispatched from, from the Griffiths. Extremely good whip on that backhand with the wrist, but a few inches shy of the uh, of the court. And those unforced errors there, especially off the serve, must have really not want to be uh, not want to have as part of his game here. Excellent smash. I think, like I said, I think we can already see the, uh, the not fatigue, of course, being, uh, being a top-level athlete, but I think the, the ability to play those five or six shots every single rally to, to put Luke under pressure is sort, sort of fading. Oh, and there's one of those amazing lunges on the backhand. This is a great rally. Very intense. And must then uh, get on top. Great defence from Luke. Oh, just off the net cord and short. But that's, must, that's what Mustard can do. He will grind out these rallies and he will put the pressure on Luke. Oh, that's an excellent, excellent clear to the back. The forehand corner, sorry, on Mustard side. He was definitely landed in. That's what Luke needs to do, of course, as he knows. Get, get Mustin lunging backwards with the shortcut behind him. There's only so much, um, only so much he'll be able to, to to bring back into the game and turn the pressure around. Four ten now. Almost halfway. Oh, another one of those great lunges from Mustin. Good defence from Luke, excellent shot. 11-4 at the halfway stage then with Mustang to serve on the left. This really is an exciting game. Luke being coached by his uh, his mixed doubles partner. Holly Clayton, who of course achieved a, a silver medal in her first ever racquetball event. 
must have been coached by Nico Leggenhager, of course. One of the best Paddington players on the tour. Be interesting to see what he's saying here. Just tell him to try and hit through the shuttle a bit more, rather than using that that big swing that the squash squash players normally have on the Badminton court. I think he's trying to tell him to punch through the shuttle with a bit more power, a bit more speed, hit it a bit sooner if he can. There are occasions where he lets it get behind him instead of perhaps anticipating the shuttle, you could say. I think that's where it needs to be higher we are. That's where it, the improvement could be uh, could be for him, I think. Like that there, instead of having to reach back for it, trying to uh, anticipate it a little bit, move his feet back first. I think it's a, it's a learning curve every squash player has had to go through on the badminton court. So that was, that was a little better because he got he did get to the shuttle earlier to play the backhand. Just obviously uh, far too low. Thirteen four now. A lovely powerful smash. Four fourteen. It did look close. Must have been happy to, uh, to call it in. And there's people starting to um, move to the squash to spectate early. For those that have never been to the Santa before, the squash court viewing is snug. Very snug. But, uh, while we're on the topic, it is a fantastic venue all around. Excellent facilities. There's 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 a certain reason why it wins ton of the year most years. It's obviously helped by the weather and the location, but I think this this big beautiful badminton hall in always air conditioned. The flooring is perfect. The table tennis tables are top quality. The squash courts are very very good, and of course the, the tennis the tennis courts are lovely hard courts. Must have been his second point of the second half there. Shuttle change, says Mr Griffiths. 18-6. Risky lift from Mustard. Getting away with it now, right? That's an excellent clip. Squash swing and out to the court. Just trying to. You know, he's really trying to keep the pressure on Luke, really. Get the shuttle to the back of the court every time, but Luke is so, 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 so composed and will always push you back to where you've come from or where you don't want to be. Oh, that's a game to six to Luke. Which I believe puts him 21 points to the good. I think the TT was 15. So onto the squash. Himself with a lead, of course. But no 
much of a lead, if any at all, will that be? Both players, uh, both players are out for the halfway through this one. This is where Luke's older brother Leon will be, uh, be giving him some, some hot tips. <laughs> Yeah. 
Mustin opting to uh, take his break on the court. Perhaps a few shots. <laughs> He needs no break. No, no. Here we are, back in action. From the left. 4 4-11. 4-11. So we just had our start for you, I think. Both the rally down the backhand wall. Luke putting him in. Squash tries. Used his body really well to make sure Mustin kept back. The drop shot was pretty much perfect to prevent Mustin from being able to get his racket underneath. Oh, oh, oh. Push that one back to serve out from Mustin. Something we've probably never seen before on a, in a racket on tournament. 6 12. Proof that nobody's perfect. single shot. He's not being too too rash and too hasty to go for winners, but he knows that he doesn't that he can't let Mustard in there. Uh, can't let him off with any easy shot. That's a lovely drop shot, well retrieved. Brought it forward again. Chance for the kill, no? is quite happy to just keep it loop moving and tire him out, isn't it? Oh, that's fantastic, that for him. Dispatch him for when he needs to. 12-8 now. Luke has won uh, three, of the, uh, three of the four points we played in this half. Luke really uh, making Henry toss and turn now. Putting some pressure on him, that's just for hey, sure. It's all cold, Luke. 9.13. So again, he's second half. Luke is 5 2 up. It's really, really, uh, really impressive. Can't get there, he does. Risky shot from Henry. Picked it up again. Back to the other side. That's too much. I mean, this, this is top, top, top squash now. That club was something. 9-14. Luke is playing out of his skin here to keep keep Henry moving in the rally to make sure Henry doesn't get an opportunity to kill it. But, but that's... Stroke box, it came back out. <laughs> 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 Luke arguing that uh, it can't be a stroke. Well, not that it can't be, but I think he was thinking Mustard was only after a lap there, but not, not the case from the ex pro. <laughs> Oh, just short of the mark, the post there from the 16 9. It's three or four in a row from the Sunset, three in a row. He's getting himself back in the game, back in control. I mean, even these rallies where Luke has two or three shots, where against anyone else it might be over. Ball stayed in. 
Oh, an unforced error again from Henrik. We've seen three or four now, I think. Serve. Yeah. One or two from the back. Yeah. We say unforced, Lou. The way Luke's playing here, it's. Um, I think Henrik's out of his comfort zone a little bit, really. Um, it's not on top most of the rallies, or most of the most of the time in every rally. And he's, he's been forced to play a game of squash that he perhaps doesn't want to play. Oh, yeah. Eleven sixteen. Eleven sixteen. So Luke currently has a sixteen point lead. As it stands. Best case scenario for Henry. Luke has an eleven point lead. No, he has ten. 17-11 now. I think you'd have to say that uh, the odds are currently in Luke's favour for sure. And I mean, it's this, it's this squash match that he's got to thank, in my opinion. Maybe it's. Wow. Lovely, lovely, lovely. 13-17. 17. 17. 17 points to the good. Now. Interesting shot from Henry. Oh, guess right. <laughs> <laughs> guess right, that is. Nineteen thirteen. 19, 13. 19, 13. Now two quick points done. Hold the disguise from Henry. Absolutely. Twenty thirteen. Twenty thirteen. Game point. Currently, oh, 14 points ahead, 15 now. 14-20. I think with a 15 point lead on his stand. I think, I think Henrik may perhaps know the fate of this match. Uh, to the front with a boast. Luke yeah. battling on to retrieve these drafts. What a boast from Luke. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. One in the tin from Henry. It's four or five, I think. Yeah, Certainly it? unforced errors. 2016. Seventeen. Oh. 18 20. I think there's only one thing on Luke's mind now, and, that, and that's to win this wash set. Absolutely. I think perhaps under different circumstances in terms of the lead Luke had into this. Maybe Henrik. Um, maybe Henrik plays a different game. Maybe we won't have seen the mistakes. We won't have seen his head drop ever so slightly. But don't take anything away from Luke. This has been excellent. Twenty-one nineteen is the conclusion. Nineteen-point lead for um, for Luke, and I think I think that will be the match. Center. Luke needs three points versus Henry Mustonen. First point to Luke. The table tennis was 21 15, the badminton 21 6, both to Luke, and then the squash was 21 19 to Henry Mustonen. A really exceptional display from, from Luke. Great serve, two love to Luke match and championship point. 
a great opportunity to thank John Spinks and Sambar for putting on this brilliant event once again. In, uh, in this lovely, lovely venue. this year in the world tour. Oh great shot from Mustin in there. It wasn't the it wasn't the harshest of cross courts from Luke to on onto his volley but nevertheless it had to be put away and it was Short and that will be it. Luke Griffiths, the 2023 Club La Santa Open Men's Elite Champion. It's his third medal of the tournament. Won the doubles with his brother Leon and came second in the mixed doubles with a friend Holly Clayton. So that is it for, for us here at Club La Santa 2023. Hopefully we'll see you next year. Thanks to everyone who has watched and, and supported the World Tour this year, and then we'll see you in 2024.